Hello and welcome to Cooking with the Cooks, episode three, lockdown two, um, and today we're doing a carrot cake. We had a little poll during the week, and carrot cake one, we're gonna do for heaters next week, so don't worry. The recipe I'm using for this carrot cake is Tom Kitchen's recipe. Uh, I was lucky enough to eat in his restaurant about eight years ago in Leith, just outside Edinburgh. The best dining experience ever. Uh, if you're ever in Edinburgh, make sure you go. So, what you will need, I've started with this. So we've got 190 grams of plain flour, uh, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of bicarb, uh, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and three quarters of a teaspoon of nutmeg. That's your dry ingredients you've got to sift into a bowl. If you're using fresh nutmeg that you've ground, you'll find the husks stay in the sieve, just chuck them away so it's nice in there. Right, wet ingredients then. So four eggs, 135ml of veg oil, and we've got 190 grams of soft brown sugar in there. So that's that. And then we're going to combine these afterwards with 95 grams of desiccated coconut and 400 grams of grated carrots. I've just used a box, I've peeled them and topped them and tailed them and used a box grater to get that. So we're going to make the most delicious carrot cake ever. We're going to top it with some cream cheese afterwards. Come back when all this is done uh, and I'll show you what to do next. Right, we've combined our dry mixture and sifted it through, so that's all there. I've had the wet mixture in the electric whisk and that's gone all sort of lovely and gooey and frothy. I'm gonna combine the coconut uh, with the dry ingredients. And then I'm gonna take, so make sure it's distributed through, take my wet ingredients and just fold that through just so it's just combined, not, not fully. Now you might find at this point there are bits of the dark brown sugar that haven't fully incorporated. That's fine, when it cooks, it'll be okay. Right, you should set your oven as well. So the oven should be set at 180, gas mark four, fan about 160. So get that done. So stir that round until the, the dry ingredients are incorporated into the wet ingredients. It only takes a couple of minutes. Just Get there, like that. Then we're gonna add our carrots. Now we're gonna gently fold these in. We don't want to knock too much of that air out that we've just created in those eggs. So, this'll take a minute or so. Rather than you stay there watching me stir, come back in a minute and we'll pop it in the oven. Okay, so we've got all that nicely combined. Look at that, safe. Yeah, now uh, I've lined a baking tray. You need a baking tray with a little bit of depth into it. Uh, it should be about 30 centimetres by 20. If you use a smaller one, it's going to be thicker, it's going to take a bit longer to cook. If you use a bigger one, it's going to be thinner, it's going to take less time to cook. So it's, it, it, you just need to judge that and keep checking it. I'm going to pour this mixture into here, uh, make sure it all gets to the sides, um, and bob it in the oven. Now, about 20 minutes. Uh, it's cooked when you can put a small skewer or a cocktail stick in the middle and it comes out clean. It will rise a little bit, but when you get it in your tray, make sure it goes right to the sides. Um, I'm gonna pop that in the oven, about 20 minutes. Uh, and whilst I'm doing that, I'm gonna make our topping. See you in a second. Right, let's make the topping. Okay, uh, 270 grams, bear with me a sec. A full fat cream cheese. Get that in. 270. Uh, 230 grams of icing sugar, get that in. Now be careful when you put icing sugar in, because it'll go everywhere. <laughs> Cloud of smoke. Uh, and then 160 grams of butter, softened. I have it out of the fridge for a bit, make sure it's nice and soft. Uh, let's just get every last bit in, there we go. And uh, a teaspoon, now I, I would generally use vanilla essence for this. Um, but I only had vanilla extract, so let's see how it goes. Um, and I don't want to go to the shops in these circumstances to do just to buy vanilla uh, essence. Or you can put vanilla, a full vanilla seeds and a vanilla pod in there, just to give it that taste. So one teaspoon of that. Right, I'm gonna put that into the electric mixer, get it all whisked up. That'll form a nice cream cheese topping. And I'm gonna finish it off with a few crushed pistachios. Um, see you in a minute. Okay, it's had 20 minutes. Uh, we've made our cream cheese topping. I'll put it in a piping bag. You don't have to put it in a piping bag. And I'm just gonna bob this in the fridge while this cools. The only reason being, you've gotta whisk it for about five minutes and it becomes a little bit warm and it gets uh, 
it'll firm up when it goes in the fridge. So I'm going to pop that in the fridge for five minutes. Our cake's come out. Um, I've done the skewer test and it's coming out clean. Leave it in the tray for two minutes and then transfer it to... Ow. Transfer it to a rack. Now if you think you haven't got a rack, have a look in the bottom of your grill. That should be fine. So we're going to allow that to cool. We're going to put the, pop that in the fridge whilst we do. And when we come back, we'll finish it off. See you in five. Hello. Um, it's not quite cool enough to cut yet, but we're having pizzas tonight and it's 10 past seven. So I'm going to take one piece out and just prepare it. I've trimmed the edges off so it gives something for Sophie and Bella to have a go. So I'm going to, I would usually serve it with one piece there, a little bit of the cream cheese topping like that, sprinkling of pistachios, like that. There you go, that's it. You can have that piece, Seth. Okay, um, right, I'm going to make pizza. Next week, we will be doing fajitas from scratch. We'll be making our own tortillas, our own spice rub, our own salsa, and we're gonna be using a beautiful cut of beef called the flank. Uh, very um, overlooked. Uh, people uh, don't know how to cook it. Next week, fajitas, I'll show you how to cook it. It'll be the best fajita you've ever had. Thank you for watching. Please like and share. In the meantime, stay safe, stay home, and keep cooking. Goodbye.